Hello, this is the read aloud for the Unit 1 test, Narrative Techniques and Structures, for LAC 2. If you have any questions, please reach out to your teacher or look at your online course. Question 1. Refer to explorations in literature for a complete version of the story. Read this excerpt from After 20 Years by O. Henry. The two men started up the street, arm in arm. The man from the West, his egotism enlarged by success, was beginning to outline the history of his career. The other, submerged in his overcoat, listened with interest. Which statement best explains how the author's use of third-person narration affects the reader? It provides insight into both characters' thoughts, motivations, and actions. It allows for better understanding of the main character only. It creates tension since the reader only knows one character's thoughts. Please pause the recording and answer question one. Question two. Refer to explorations in literature for a complete version of the story. Read this excerpt from After 20 Years by O. Henry. There was now a fine, cold drizzle falling, and the wind had risen from its uncertain puffs into a steady blow. The few foot passengers astir in that quarter hurried dismally and silently, along with coat collars turned high and pocketed hands. And in the door of the hardware store, the man who had come a thousand miles to fill an appointment, uncertain almost to absurdity, with the friend of his youth, smoked his cigar and waited. Which statement best describes how the pacing of this passage affects the story? The pacing moves the story along quickly with descriptive language, which adds humor to the story. The pacing slows down the text with deliberate and descriptive language, which gives the story a mysterious atmosphere. The pacing allows for a lengthy description of the man and clear description of the setting, which creates an alarming tone in the story. Please pause your recording and choose an answer to question two. Question three, refer to explorations in literature for a complete version of the story. How does the first person point of view affect the pit and the pendulum? It enables the reader to learn more about the Inquisition, the political power that has unjustly imprisoned the narrator. It helps the reader try to find a way out for the narrator from a number of different angles. Because it only shows what the narrator knows at any given point, it increases suspense and tension. Please pause your recording and choose an answer to question three. Question four, refer to explorations in literature for a complete version of this story. Read the excerpt from The Pit and the Pendulum by Edgar Allan Poe. Inch by inch, line by line, with a descent only appreciable at intervals that seemed ages, down and still down it came. Days passed, it might have been that many days past, ere it swept so closely over me as to fan me with its acrid breath. How does the pacing of this passage most affect the story? It creates a tense atmosphere that shows the narrator's fear. It creates a highly charged atmosphere that conveys the narrator's anger. It injects surprise into the story, which highlights the narrator's shock. Please pause your recording and choose an answer to question four. Question five. Read the passage, excerpt from The Pit and the Pendulum by Edgar Allan Poe. Down, steadily down, it crept. I took a frenzied pleasure in contrasting its downward with its lateral velocity, to the right, to the left, far and wide, with the shriek of a damned spirit, to my heart with the stealthy pace of the tiger. Down, certainly relentlessly down, it vibrated within three inches of my bosom, I struggled violently, furiously, to free my left arm. This was free only from the elbow to the hand. I could reach the ladder from the platter beside me to my mouth. 
with great effort, but no further. Down, still unceasingly, still inevitably down. I gasped and struggled at each vibration. I shrunk convulsively at its every sweep. My eyes closed, followed its outward or upward whirls with the eagerness of the most unmeaning despair. They closed themselves spasmodically at the descent, although death would have been a relief. Oh, how unspeakable. How does the author create suspense in this excerpt? The author foreshadows the coming gruesome death of the prisoner. The author reveals details about the measurements the prisoner calculated. The author repeats the word down to show the slow descent of the pendulum. Please pause your recording and choose an answer to question five.